guys it's me Holly here with Lola Beauty Plus I just wanted to do a video today um, actually I wanted to do a couple videos today um, first I'm gonna start with um, so before I even mention the video do you notice anything different about my makeup if you notice I look on it a bit on the pale side um, it's because I actually didn't contour and highlight nor did I use blush um, because I wanted to do that for this video um, so Basically, I already have all my makeup done besides the contouring and highlighting. So basically, I have everything on except for the contour and highlighting. Um, the only reason why I did it was because of this video. Now, usually I would do the highlighting first before I did the eye makeup and then I would contour and blush after I did the eye makeup. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I did everything else. Um, so first, first things first, um, you can always like diffuse this look. This is the way I'm showing you guys how I contour. Um, first, I'm going to show you how I highlight. Um, I highlight underneath my eyes, a little tiny bit on the nose, right here on the forehead, and then a little bit on the chin and right by the um, top of the lips. Um, for that, I'm gonna use the Glamouflage and my Beauty Blender sponge thing. Um, the one that I got from uh, Walmart. So you're just going to take a bit of the concealer. You can use whatever concealer you want. This is just the one I'm using now. Um, and then you're going to place it wherever you feel like you need the highlight. Um, on the, on the, underneath my eyes is where I need it the most. So I'm just going to dab it on. And like I said, usually I'll do this before I... Um, to my eye makeup just so that it doesn't kind of take away from the eye makeup um, but you can do it whenever in whatever step of your makeup um, you can do it after you do your eye makeup just so that if you have any fallout you can wipe that off um, as opposed to if you have any fallout after you apply the, con the highlight um, it'll be a bit harder to get that off because it's settled into the concealer. Now the, the nose, um, a lot of people use this to kind of not only elongate their nose but make it look thinner. I don't have a problem with my nose. I don't think it's too big. Um, I, I find it just fine. Uh, some people, but some people might uh, want to make their nose look smaller. Now, I'm not going to use a whole lot of concealer um, just because a little goes a long way with this concealer. Now, you're going to take your, sp your sponge and kind of blend everything in. Um, again, you can develop your own method once you get down the whole thing. Um, this is kind of just what I've developed over time. Um, but you can really tell the difference when you know you don't contour and highlight as opposed to when you do. Your face has much more definition when you do. You don't have to do this every day. You can, because uh, it does take a, uh, you know, adds time to your uh, makeup routine. But definitely, you know, try it once, like if you're going out or like a special occasion. Definitely try it once and then um, see the difference. I noticed the difference right when I tried it. The beauty blender or imitation like I have um, really helps because it kind of does the job for itself. You don't really need to like try too hard with this blender. It blends in your stuff really good. Now when you first start doing it, don't be shocked by the way it looks because um, 
it definitely changes once you blend everything out. I know people probably watch videos and see it and they're scared away right away, but it doesn't stay. It actually pulls everything together. Now I'm just using my finger because I'm getting closer to the eye makeup. So I just want to be careful and not smudge it. But I mean, it's like a kind of a smudged look, so it's not a big deal if you do smudge it. You ever find it difficult not to keep your mouth open when you're doing makeup? I think that's like a big problem for everybody. I guess you get so into what you're doing that you just kind of forget. Your facial expression might be a little weird. I know there's videos where I'm looking at it like, what was I thinking? Like what was going through my head when I was making that expression? Me, personally, I like to pat over. Some people might not want to pat over because the intensity decreases of the highlight, but I actually do want that to happen. You can bring it up to like um, where you would normally kind of a little higher than you would start your contour. I'm just gonna um, set this concealer with the, my e.l.f. Um, Studio Mattifying Powder. It, um, I think it works really well when it, to set this concealer. It's only $3, I mean, you can't beat that. I usually use the little sponge to do that because it's small and it works well because it's flat. So I can really get in there. Again, don't be, don't think that it's just gonna look this way because it's going to um, pull together once you contour. But I think it looks really nice um, as opposed to not doing it. It just gives your face, again, gives your face so much more definition than if you didn't do it. Might not be for everybody, but it's definitely for me. I try to do it every day. I'm not gonna say I actually do it every day because some days I just throw on some makeup really quick. Um, especially if I'm not going anywhere special. So now that that is done, I'm gonna go in and um, start to contour um, using the 28 inch palette. And I'm going to use this color. Now you can replace this with a bronzer. That's perfectly fine. And I'm also going to use the fluffy brush that I got with the Sonia Kashuk brush set. Um, I started to use this uh, when I bought it and I, I think it's just what I was looking for when it comes to the contour. Um, so where I contour is right underneath, like right by the jawbone. So I kind of draw the line and then I diffuse it by using the fluffy brush. I mean, I don't know how it shows up on camera, but there's like a huge difference once you do this contouring. Again, on the other side, I'm just gonna repeat the process. But now by no means is this like the staple way to do it. This is just how I like to do my contour. You kind of can pick and choose where you want that definition. You just want to blend it out pretty good because you don't want a harsh line. Now for the, for the cheeks, it's really funny, but this is just how you get that defined line in your cheekbones um, if you don't have really prominent cheekbones. Um, what you're going to do is 
to a, like a fish face and then you're gonna get that line and kind of contour that line. Now where you start your contour is like right at the top here. It's different for everybody. Like I said, everybody does it differently. Um, you just gotta kind of focus on what looks best on you. And like I said, this is just, um, I'm just showing you a really the way I do it. Um, you can use like lighter colors, you know, more, more close to your skin tone. I like a good defined contour, so that's why I use the like bronzy dark brown color. I think this fluffy brush works really, really well. If you want to use a bigger brush, that's perfectly fine, like a blush brush, um, but this is what I like to use. Now I'm going to bring it up on top by the temple area, just to kind of round out the face and blend everything in. Again, if it looks harsh on camera, it's because um, when you first put the color on it is pretty harsh. You got to kind of blend it out just to make it look more natural. But I mean. Like I said, it does make a huge difference in your makeup. It does pull everything together. Now for the blush, I'm gonna use the blush that I did have in my weekend favorites video. Which is the e.l.f. Studio um, Pink Passion. So that's the blush I'm gonna use. Now I'm gonna use a blush brush, or what I think is a blush brush, um, from the Sonia Kashuk brush set and I'm just gonna go over the apples in my cheeks and kind of drag it back part of it more like it, it kind of marries everything together as far as the contour and the highlight it brings it all together it brings like the face makeup all together. And I almost forgot to contour my nose. Um, I'm going to use the fluffy brush and the same color I use to contour the rest of my face. You're just gonna drag it along the side of your nose. Now where is up to you because it depends on how thin you want your nose to look. Me, I do it kind of towards the sides because um, like I said, I don't have any issues with my the size of my nose or anything. Some people might be sub. Some people might be self-conscious of the nose, the size of their nose, but um, I'm not one of those people. But if you do, there's no problem with that. I mean, if you think your nose is kind of on the big side, let me tell you, this contouring is a miracle. <laughs> it's like plastic surgery. <laughs> Um, without, you know, any of that. So you kind of want to diffuse it. Um, some people contour right around here. Um, but like I said, I just did this for the purpose of this video. I don't necessarily contour my nose all the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I just skip it. And then you kind of run that out. Down your nose. It gives it that very nice definition. Um, So, I 
Some people might think this is too much makeup, but um, if you are into makeup, it's not. Um, and I'm definitely into makeup and definitely into trying different things. And this just works for me. So if it doesn't work for you, then that's perfect. Until next time, bye.